Hey everyone, Azure here. Today I'm going to be going through how to get sounds working in Black Ops 3. I'm going to be doing the Ballista's Reload sounds for this tutorial, but this can easily be applied to weapon sounds, map sounds, and ambient sounds. So, the first thing we need to do is obviously get the sounds. And uh, you can do this by either using Black Ops 2 Sound Studio or a another tool for your game, um, depending on the game. And because I'm doing it from Black Ops 2, I'll use the Sound Studio. And then all weapon sounds are found in the common root all sub L file. So I'll open that. And then an easy way to do this is to go tools and go show full name. And click on name to sort it alphabetically if the arrow is pointing up. And then scroll all the way down until you see sound weapon. And keep going down until you see sniper. And then you'll see ballista here. And we have a few different ones. So we just need to get the fire sound. So I'll export that to um, my music folder. And then I'll put it here. I've already got it, but I'll export it again. And it should say it exported successfully. And now what we need to do is also export the dry fire sound. And what we need to do is get rid of the folder path and then just have the file name there and go save. And it should export successfully. Scroll down a bit more until you see sniper and then reload. So we need to get all of these out and do the same method. And you should have them in your exported folder here. So I'm just going to copy all these. And go to my Black Ops 3 folder and go to Sound Assets. And in here I'll make another folder uh, pretty much following this hierarchy. So Weapon, Sniper, and then I'll paste them all in here. I'll make a new folder called Reload for the reload sounds and put uh, the fly shot, uh, the fly sounds in there. And then I'll make another one here called Ballista and then drag and drop these two fire sounds in there and then actually no i'll have the dry sound outside and then now that we've done that what we need to do is create our sound aliases so it's slightly different in black ops 3 and what we need to do first is uh, grab a few files that i'll leave in the description and once you've got those you paste them into your share raw folder and then uh, you should have new files in sound and templates. You should have this new uh, template weapon file. Just open it up and you'll see it has a few group files here and uh, group entries. These are just some that I made to uh, simplify the process later on. So close that and then don't save it. And then what we need to do is go to aliases here. And then you'll see a file here called user aliases. You can just copy that and paste it. And I call this weapon aliases. And then I'll just open it in Excel. You can open it in your text editor as well. And then I'll just click on this little arrow in the top and double click between the uh, columns to make them uh, the correct size. And then here we just start adding our sound alias names. So here I'm firstly going to do the fire sound, which I'm going to call um, Ballista Fire Player. And then in file spec, what we need to do is go to the Black Ops 3 root directory and find sound assets. And then we need to put the directory from this folder into this column. So we go weapon, sniper, ballista, and then this file. So I'll copy up here from the sound assets, paste that, and then put a backslash. And then copy your uh, WAV file's name and paste it at the end. Press enter. And then we just need to do the same thing for all the reload sounds. And then we have to scroll over a bit. And then where it says template, just need to re-expand the columns. Where it says template, you see it says UIN mod here. I'm going to change this to group weapon, as that was the name of the group I made in the templates file. Now I'm just going to drag it down so all of them use this template. And then over in vol min and vol max, you can just drag this all the way down as well and just make sure it covers all of them and then we can save that uh, alias file just yes continue using the csv format and then what we need to do is go to share uh, sorry 
uh, what we need to do now is go to our map and then go to sound, sound config and you'll have a file here there and you have a file there with your map's name and then SZC and then just right click and go edit with Notepad++ or your favorite text editor and then here we need to uh, add a new entry for your alias so the type should be alias the name should be the name of your alias file that's in the share raw and sound and then aliases here so mine is weapon underscore aliases so the name should have should not have the csv uh, extension but then the file name should so we just paste that there save that and then it's already set up for us in the zone file under this so now what we have to do is allocate the um, the note tracks in here to the sound aliases we made just then so under here for sound note tracks we need to go action and scroll down to sound and then here just type in uh, or if you want to use an existing note just click on this arrow and then it will show all the exported ex uh, note tracks so then we just click on the one we're going to use and because I named it the same thing I can just copy paste it in and then you can see that it's now added a note 2 so we just go sound and do the same thing so just click on this and then go bot back and copy paste it and then go to note 3 and do the same thing so I'm just going to go through all these and do it for the sound aliases I just created okay and once we've done that what we need to do is just save it and then we need to redo that same process for every animation that we have which is going to take quite a while but I'm only going to do it for this reload empty animation for now and once we've done that what we need to do is just compile our map or whatever mod we're using so just go link and run and then I'll build it and be back and I'll be back when we're in game and once we're in game we just need to grab the weapon and you'll see that now we have all our, our sounds and I'll just play that again so then just wait for the sound and then there you go so that's how you get sounds into Black Ops 3 hope this helped you and if it did please leave a like otherwise um, leave a comment with any issues that you're having and until next time I'll see you